hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be learning how to use leonardo ai prompt to go on to creating stunning ai generated images right now and if you're new to my channel i create videos on ways you could do it on to making money online with artificial intelligence cpa marketing and affiliate marketing supposing you do like such content scroll through my channel there are a lot of videos that could help you out right now also guys let's dive right into the video of today so you can see right now all you need to do is to go onto your web browser and head on to the leonardo.ai platform which will bring you to this page right here you just need to click on launch app if you do click on launch app right now it's going to bring you right here to a page after you actually go on to clicking on yes i am whitelisted and you can actually go on to see a lot of people's images that were created on this platform right now so these are all images created on this on this platform by people you could go on to checking out the prompts by selecting the image you'll be able to see the prompt that was used in generating these images right now this is the prompt right now for the gen generating this image this is also the negative prompt used for generating this same image but since you want to just simply generate your own come right to this image generation and you could just simply go on to generating your image yourself just by pasting in a description right here of how you want your images to actually be like in this particular section so all you need to do right now is to actually learn the first style of prompt and that style is just by utilizing emojis so right now guys if i do intend on utilizing emojis right now you just simply need to paste in the type of emojis you want right here you can see this a laughing face this is something like a sunset there's a penguin and there's a truck right now so if i actually do put in something like spray spray paint illustration and do click on generate right here maybe i'm just going to reduce this to one images per, per creation of per prompt right now and if i do click on generate the image will actually get generated right here as you can see the generation process is, has actually begun and it's going to generate the images based on this my prompt right now and as you can see right here this was the images that were generated right now so i can actually do put in something like um truck so if I do click on generate, and that image is actually going to get generated. But just simply take a look at the image that was generated right here. It's actually having details of that exact same image, which we of that exact same prompt that you can see right here. You can see right here that this is actually a new image. It has some details of those particular um, prompts which you actually did insert, or those um, emojis which you did insert right now. So this is one cool way you could just simply go into generating images with the help of Leonardo AI. So right now, guys, if we want to just simply go onto the second method, which you could actually use to generate cool and amazing images with the help of Leonardo AI, you just simply have to go onto utilizing um, prompts from famous artists and and people right there you can see right now this one right here is just saying an old lady painted by pablo picasso and right now guys once you actually name this quite correctly click on generate right now you can see that this is going to generate uh, a picture of an old lady painted by this exact same person it will be in the style of pablo picasso right now so if you want to just simply go on to changing this particular name right now i can just simply change this to something like um da vinci or before i change that to da vinci let's create this once more and you'll be able to see the new style that is actually generated right here in the absolute reality um creation model right now as you can see this is how it's going to look like right now so i can actually go on to changing this to da vinci so if I do go to changing this right here and click on generate, you can see right now that a new image will be generated via this section right here that in the Da Vinci style. They are actually going to be like um, the same old woman kind of pattern but a different style right here. As you can see, Da Vinci's own is actually kind of different. This is how the Pablo Picasso actually goes on to creating his images right here but this is the Da Vinci style. So you can actually go on to utilizing other kinds of... Um, famous um photographers or famous people right there to actually utilize that to create images certain images in their own type of style right now so you can see how cool this actually works so another style which we could which we could use is the lighting prompt right now so if you want to just simply add some cool lighting prompt you can see right here this prompt says a little girl wearing a white t-shirt and a blue shirt backlighting during a golden hour and if I do go on to clicking on generate right now, it's going to go on to generating 
that kind of image right here for me on this particular platform right now so you can just simply take a look at the image that was generated it actually looks quite cool and amazing supposing i go on to selecting the image right now you can actually do see a close shot how the image actually looks like it looks quite real and amazing right here because i'm actually using the absolute reality um, model right now as you can see there are different models from the leonardo diffusion to the dream shaper to the anime style to the 3d animation style and a lot more other styles right here so why not just simply select any style of your choice right here the anime style will actually create the images in kind of an anime pattern the dream shaper actually creates it in kind of like cartoon character and so on so just simply create one with any style of your choice maybe i can actually do put in this right here at sunset and if i do change it to sunset and click on generate you can actually do see the image that is going to be generated right here just by utilizing this simple description right now so this prompt based on the prompt you actually give this ai tool that's what is actually going to help you generate you can see the new image that was generated right here for me with the help of this particular ai tool those are how amazing these actually are right now so all you need to do is just simply utilize such images right here as you can see this is how cool the image actually looks like utilize some cool lighting effects for such images just simply state that in the description or in your prompt and this ai tool is actually going to help you go on to generating that kind of image for you so another style which you could utilize right now is the illustration style so you can actually go to inserting and kind of illustration prompt as you can see this one says a golden retriever puppy in a pixar illustration so if you do put in a kind of illustration and do click on generate right now it's actually going to go on to generating such kinds of image utilizing the illustration prompt so all this prompt i'm actually showing you and actually guide you to help you go to creating your own kind of images right now or any kind of images to generate your own prompts and create any kind of images of your choice as you can see right here this is how, how cool the image goes on to looking like you can see how cool and amazing the image looks like right now you can actually go on to changing this illustration to something like um watercolor if i do change this to something like watercolor right now and I actually do put in something like this you can actually go on to seeing how the image is going to look like maybe i could just simply go on to changing this right now to something like anime you can see the watercolor style right here this is what was created the image also looks quite cool and amazing right here see how cool the image looks like so i can actually go on to changing this to anime illustration so make sure you just simply state the type of illustration you want and this ai is actually going to help you generate such kinds of cool images so these are actually cool ways to generate some cool prompts right now with this particular um, kind of um, ai tool but if you want to just simply create this in anime style maybe you just simply need to go to changing this to something like a dream shaper or the anime um anime model that is the model for you creating your own video or image sorry so if you take a look at this right now as this is actually being generated you'll be able to see the kind of image that was generated right here with the help of this ai tool so guys take a look at the image right here this is the golden retriever right now and this is exactly in the anime style so these are actually giving you quite cool and amazing accuracy once you actually do go on to creating some cool images right now so i'm just going to change this back to the um absolute reality for this anime style right now i'm just going to change that to something like um ink style so if i change this to ink style illustration just simply take a look at the image that will be generated so take a look at the image guys that were generated with the help of this ai tool it looks like the ink style right here so guys just simply give cool description of how you want your um illustration to be like and that's going to be generated for you so moving on to the next kind of prompt that you want to use you want to use a texture kind of prompt so there are actually cool prompts that you can actually go into using like a texture kind of prompt maybe if i want to use something like a hamster with a very furry texture I can actually go on to inserting that right there and you can go on to seeing how cool this is actually going to look like so you can see right here that this is the image that was generated right here for me for a hamster with a hamster with a very very furry like texture right now and you can see how cool that actually looks like maybe i can actually go on to put in something like a ball with a scaly texture and i could also go on to changing this from scaly to something like um bird like 
you can see how the ball with the scaly texture actually look like you can see how cool this actually looks like right now maybe i can actually do go on to put in like a ball with a bread like texture click on generate and you will be able to see the kind of image that is generated with this particular ai tool so just simply take a look at this right here so you can see the the ball with the bed like texture right now you can actually go on to put in something like a, a mermaid or something like that right there and this ai tool is actually going to come up with some cool texture right here for you so you can create images based on texture prompts so the last but not the least type of prompt which you could use is to just simply go into the using adjectives for your prompt right now so you can actually do inserts more stuff like a beautiful an amazing or cool stuff like that cool words to actually help beautify your image quite more as you can see right here i'm using the word beautiful it says a beautiful ball with a spiky texture so if i go on to remove putting this inserting this beautiful right now you'll be able to see how the ball looks like but if i do remove this um beautiful from that exact same stuff right there and i do click on generate you will also be able to see how the image actually goes on to looking like you can see this is the one with the beautiful ball the spiky texture right here this is how the ball goes on to looking like but if you do remove that spiky right here you can actually do see that there's a difference between the balls right now you could actually go on to put it in something like an amazing from the top of a mountain an amazing view from the top of a mountain and if you do put in something like that right there you will be able to see the image that was generated it's going to be quite amazing for you right now going to be quite cool right there so just simply take a look at this kind of image right here you can actually do see how cool the image goes on to looking like so all these kind of adjectives which you actually do add to your images actually goes on to increasing or giving the ai a kind of sense to create something quite much more beautiful amazing or stuff like that right there so guys with this right here i hope you do like this video and i hope you do go on to creating some cool and amazing images with the help of this ai called leonardo ai right now just by utilizing this prompt styles which i actually showed you right here in this video if you have any question leave that in the comment section down below and don't also forget to leave a like button to the video or leave a like to the video and also hit the subscribe button right there to the video so that's it for now thank you all for watching and goodbye